The first game in 1980 when I was, I think I was 12. And I was never allowed to start late um, and watch sport because you know, I had school the next day. But this this one time was it was different. Dad would let me stay up because he, he, we didn't know what this new concept was. When, when we saw that Beetson and Mick Cronin uh, got into it, you know, the last people, two people you would think, that kind of uh, made me think that this is different than anything I've ever seen before. If teammates are going to fight each other in a game, then this is more than just a footy game. This is uh, this is this is hard on your sleeve type of thing. Game two, 2005, Andrew John's comeback game. Uh, he just put an absolute masterclass on at ANZ Stadium. I went to the game to watch it and uh, just to see him in the form that he was in and the way he just controlled the game was unbelievable. Um, he'd been out for an extended period, a long, long time. You know, 12 months out of the game with a, uh, uh, a knee reconstruction and there was a lot of doubters going into the game. He was rock hard, fit. And his, his form at club level had only been so-so. Um, but he turned up that night and put in, I think, his greatest ever origin performance. So, very proud family member that night. I think Billy Slater, when Darren Lockyer puts that kick through and Billy Slater comes through, he's just onside and everybody in the stadium thought he was offside, everybody at home thought he was offside and then when they go back to the slow motion, Billy's onside, he's moving that quick. He gets the ball, he kicks Minicello and him, it's a race and he scores that Billy was wearing number five and uh, that's when we all knew how good Billy Slater was. Mark Coyne's try, um, everyone's seen it, they went across 30 sets of hands and ended up on the right hand side of the field and Coyne ended up um, getting over. That's not a try, that's a miracle. I think as a young bloke growing up, um, that was something that you aspire to, to wear that Queensland jersey. I remember Wally Lewis, after the fight, came up to Mick Stone, the referee, and wouldn't stop, was just into him, you know, really aggressive, really in his face, and Mick Stone just went five minutes and sent Wally off. And Wally pulled that face, and then as he proceeded to walk to the sideline, just the rain of Forex cans came onto the field, and I remember just sitting there going, wow, one day, imagine being part of that. And I wonder what would have happened if, if MG just loaded up and, and laid one on Wally. I know he'd never be allowed back in Queensland, but what it would have done for the psyche of New South Wales. People ask me daily um, what, what happened between you two and, and what, why didn't you hit him? And I just couldn't believe that he knew who I was. Uh, effing guy, this effing guy, that. He goes, shit, he knows my name, it's the king. Remember me?